So this is day one of Warp Week, and things have been going relatively well. We have Norns coming in through the warp and eating all our food. We have some interesting creatures walking around here. These are actually descendants from Warpy, who was our original mascot Norn, but we don't know where he is now, but that happens sometimes. Um, we have a few interesting Norns. We have this strange man, which I think he's immortal, considering he's really, really old. But he also appears to be infertile, so that's... Ooh, someone new just came in. Who are you? Hey, cool. Anyway, so the day's been going pretty well. We've had some creatures come and go. I've already had an incident where I've been away from my computer and I leave this warp open and this portal goes from to anyone random and comes from anyone random. So basically, it's the portal to the world for them. Oh, she's leaving me already. Sigh. Anyway. So, I've already had one incident with someone who messaged me, or left me, sent me a little note saying, oh my gosh, send that Norn back, it wasn't supposed to be sent to you, it was an accident, and of course I'm not here most of the day, and by the time I get back to read the message, that person has, or that Norn that they're talking about has since left. And you feel bad. Oh, there she goes. Bye. We hardly knew you. And, yeah. So, that's day one. We'll see what happens in the future. So here we are at day two of Warp Week, and things are starting to pick up. We have a pretty large population of Norns just warping in and out. Today we had a color theme, so we have a couple of colorful creatures running around doing creaturely things. I had an influx of Ettons earlier today. I think maybe two or three Ettons came in through the warp, and I was gone, and they started making more Ettons, and unfortunately I did have an incident in which some sort of Antigen 6 epidemic absolutely ravaged the world, and I came back and all my Norns were dead! So I hope no one important, or no one sent an important Norn to me that got eaten by the epidemic. The epidemic, actually, was caused by this little, little friend of ours over here who's Mr. Immortal and living forever, but he does tend to have this thing where he carries diseases, so I decided to just move him over into his own room to keep that from happening again. Um, I think that's about it. Wait, let's see how many people are online at the moment. We got seven people connected to the warp, which isn't bad for this time of night, especially. So... With that said, I think we'll say goodbye to all our beautiful Norns and wish them luck in coming days. Okay, it's Warp Week Day 3, a day that happens to be April Fool's Day. So we've had some pretty strange Norns going through the warp. Um, we've had Grendels that are disguised as Norns, and Ettons disguised as Grendels, and so on and so forth. And then we've had some strange creatures with no gravity. They eventually land after a while, but if you like, just they'll hang in the air, or you can throw them. They're really cool and weird. I got actually some really funny responses from some people whom I've sent these strange creatures out to. So, right now these guys kind of all look the same. It's because I just got back from classes and they've been breeding and got a lot of eggs. But we still have Mr. Uh, guy over here who's still, let's see how old he is right now. He is 341 hours old. He'll probably never die, but I've also got an interesting little setup here because I've noticed that some norns are coming in through this warp instead of my portal, and I'm not sure why. 
But um, most of them come through the portals, so we end up here. So I have the little sort hat here, which is connected to the timer, so that if anyone gets stuck here while I'm away from my computer, like that, they'll get teleported over to here and wait for the flags. See? And I thought of splitting these up initially, but eh, they're fine for right now. So that's pretty much the summary of day three. We've got crazy floating norns. Wait, that one doesn't float. This one floats. And lots of fun to be had, so we'll see what happens in the future. So this is warp week day four. It's supposed to be a CFE theme today, but uh, for me, CFE day is every day because it's such a great genetic thing. So the warp's actually been a little slow today. I haven't got very much in. So most of these creatures that you see here are some creatures that I actually imported from really old creatures folders. And so a lot of these have been exported for a long time. And, ironically, these are probably the only norms that have a chance of not being CFE that are mine, because they're so old and probably before CFE existed, or at least was mainstream. So, things are going okay. Tomorrow is supposed to be an interesting day. We're supposed to have like a chat party and some other things, so hopefully that'll go well. These are neat, cute little Ettons. I love them. <laughs> okay, sorry. Anyway, so I've actually taken a, imported a bunch of Nords and warped them out in, a, in an attempt to like spark more life in the warp. But considering there's, let's see, six people connected right now, which isn't as much as there were before. I've seen like 12 people on today, which is really nice. But I should have sent them all out then, because now, yeah, there's not as many people. But, oh well. So, not really a whole lot of news for today. The old face over here is still alive, of course. Though I've actually checked his life chemical, and it's at zero. So he is actually a zombie. I'm kind of considering whether or not to put him out of his elevator-pushing misery. But, I don't know. I've just grown so attached to him. Anyway. Not much else to say, so we'll see you tomorrow. Warp week, day five, and look who's still pushing the elevator. Oh, poor thing. Meanwhile, back in the rest of the world, we have a few interesting creatures running around, but as it's the end of day five, they're about to all be exported. Because day six and day seven are going to be part of a big wolfling run that I'm running with at least three other people are confirmed. Hopefully we'll get a few more in there. But uh, it'll be an interesting, interesting event. So I'll document those. But right now we're about to say goodbye to Push Portal, which is my faithful warp week world that has lasted me all these days. This is a pretty one. I've never noticed him before. He must be new. Anyway, so I guess this is goodbye to push portal, but we still have two more days of warp week, so we're gonna see what happens during that wolfling run. is Warp Week Day 6, and Day 1 of our big Warp Week Weekend Wolfling Run. Wow, that's hard to say. And we've got four people in it, and we have quite a variety going on. I installed the um, Norn Garden meta room to give them a little more room to run around. But there's several portals throughout the world that are linked only to the three other people. And the population is doing pretty well. We had we had some slow time for a while. We had, or at least I had, a point where 
it kept telling me I was online, but I wasn't. And so I had to disconnect and reconnect, and suddenly like 12 Norrents appeared. And that made my population go up quite a bit. Oh, we have this strange little guy over here. This was kind of our first big mutation. But he's a little guy, a little colored guy, and yet he's an eternal, everlasting, immortal baby. And normally I'd export things like that, but he's a baby. He's not doing any harm. He's always really depressed, though. It makes me sad. And he's been sitting here for, like, most of his life, pushing this little thing right here. Anyway, so... Things are going pretty well. I'm actually, I actually went out and downloaded breeds for this wolfling run because um, Spaceship Rat, our, one of our people, was using these little floral norns, and I didn't have that breed installed. So I went out and got it. I shouldn't be tickling these guys. This is a wolfling run. It's just a habit. I like to go around and tickle them. But see, we have one color over here. And I think that's really the first sight of color, but she's had several kids, and it's spread to her offspring, so. They all really dislike this Janaya guy, girl, whoever that is. Oh, that's actually her. No one likes the floral norn? What is wrong with you? She's so pretty. Okay. Anyway, so this wolfling run is going pretty well. Um, I've actually never done a group wolfling run before. Well... I've done it like with one other person before, but that's not so much a global wolfling run as it is a, hey, two people wolfling run. Anyway, I'm rambling now. So I will return tomorrow and see what's up. And when we shut down the wolfling run, I'll make some documentation of that. And even the wolf blah, warp week might be over. Um, after this today, I'm doing like a big splicing daily on Monday, so I might video that too, just for fun. Alright, say goodbye to the Norns! <sighs> it's warp week, day seven. And, well, I guess it's time for all good things to end. Oh, it's been a really good week. It's time to shut down this wolfling run. It's time to disconnect. And it makes me so sad. But it's been a pretty successful run. I mean, actually, I'm going to go back online to make sure there's no more creatures in the warp. We've had all these little guys. And there's such a variety of them. And we've had little mutations here and there. See, we have this little green chick. Isn't she cute? But it is time to export all these beautiful creatures.